Extreme Brat Boot Camp. Let's go. Camp Consequence. I like that already. They got Constantino wire on the outside of this place. These little rug rats aren't escaping. There's nothing like it on the planet, nowhere. When these kids drive into our facility and that gate shuts behind them, they're mine. Look, I'm on a mission. I believe I'm on a calling. I believe that this is what I was put on this earth to do. His job was to give discipline to kids whose parents are absentee, who don't give discipline, who give them an iPad instead of a spanking, who give them an Xbox instead of chores. Across America, there's a booming industry worth over $2 billion. It claims it can remold children and save families, often using controversial techniques. You feel that pain? That's the pain your mother feels when you disrespect her son. When you decide you I hate these controversial tactics. Can't even say the word. It's so annoying. This is a BBC production, so I get it. You got to make it interesting, but yelling at a kid, making him do push ups, hold the two by four. That's called chores, my friend. That's called PT. That's called, what do you call it? Phys ed when you're in school. They don't do that anymore. Do what I ask you, you can go back to bed. Do you understand me? Every year, thousands of children, some as young as five, are sent away to camps and programs because their parents believe their behavior is out of control. I was getting calls from school. He was being suspended. You know, if he doesn't get what he wants, he freaks. All right, you guys chime in here. Put it in the comments. If you had a kid like this, do you think it's your fault as the parent? I understand. I was raised by a single mom for a period of time. I would have never done two things to not have a hand raised to me. In other words, I would have done what I was told when I was told how I was told. So you can't say it's single mothers or single fathers. Are the parents not engaged enough? What is it? You get these brats and now they're adults, right? They're caring. They're the ones that are get their feelings hurt about everything. They need to save space. What exactly is, you guys let me know. Children are often escorted to these programs against their will. We've actually had children jump out of a car on a freeway going down the road to escape. These children cannot leave unless they choose to run away. And even if they do, they will be retrieved by the police and returned to the facility. They're being handed over to Glenn and his team of volunteers. Move, now! Get your head out of your pocket and stop your whining. <laughs> None of these children have been sent here by the courts. Most have been brought here without warning by parents who fear their behavior is out of control. Spread your legs. The behaviors we deal with is mostly just rebellion. I had a friend who sent his son to one of these things. He was a problem kid. He eventually had to go again court order to another boot camp. Turned out 10 years later after being a drug addict to be just a ne'er-do-well. I don't know if it's genetics. And the crazy part about it is both parents are doctors, good people. I don't know if it's just the odd duck in the bunch, the bad apple or what. I want to hear what you guys think. Definitely in the comments, let it rip. They just don't want to be told what to do. It's going to be a long summer with that attitude. You can do it my way. Because I've never lost. I will not start this weekend, son. Or you can calm down. And life will not be so bad. Am I clear? Yes, sir. You do everything we ask you to do. Everything. And you'll get through this summer. That's like regular boot camp. Everyone's got a course to sell somebody about PT or how to get mentally tough, right? This guy is saying it's the same way. Do what you're told, when you're told, and you'll be fine. If you're an average person, if you're a total dirtbag or total weakling, maybe that's different. Most people aren't like that. These kids need discipline, and so do young recruits going in. Let's say, like me, I came from a good family. I thought I was disciplined, but there's a different level in the military. These kids need to get, like, a basic level, and I think these programs are a good thing, kind of like ROTC but you're not getting dropped off by your parents? Am I clear? Yes, sir. By parents who fear their kids are heading down the wrong path. 
in push-ups. So we first started this program, we started from 14 to 18. And we realized that 16, 17, and 18 year old kids, they're already dropped out of school, got gang tattoos, doing drugs, making more money in a, in a month than I make in a year. And it was no turning them around. And I realized I need to start at a young age. And we dropped our age to five to 14 and a half. It's a shame we have to get there, but the parents don't put a hand to the kid, put him in timeout, whatever it is. You know, this new way of thinking that the kids are self-evolved. They can pick which sex they are when they're five. Like in California, they're giving them too much leeway. They think the kids are smarter than they are. They want direction, right? Just like a young recruit does in the military. To catch these kids young. If you can do everything I just said, just like that, with no problem, why can't you listen to your parents? We can, sir. But you don't. The majority of children in Sarge's program come from single parent families and live in communities where gangs and crime are rife. The single parent excuse, I understand at times. My mother was single for a period. I had family around. I think that's important. If you move somewhere and you're a single parent with no family structure or no friends, you're setting yourself up to a little turd like these kids. My back hurts. I'm not going to sleep very long. Sometimes I don't even know what time it is. <laughs> I felt that way before in boot camp, uh, except I didn't quite do that. But, you know, these kids are going to get a lot out of that. Just like when you see drop your son off, recruiter picks him up to take him to MEPS. They go off to boot camp. They come back like a different person. Hopefully, it sticks, right? I miss my mom, and I miss the people that used to be around me. Get out of those tents. <laughs> Let's go! Get out! Revelry, revelry. You know the rest of it. There, come on out there. Come on out there. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You know what they missed was the count off, right? Everybody gets on the line and counts off. Invariably, somebody can't count. Like if you're number six, the guy next to you is seven. They screw that up. Let's get them moving. The children are escorted out of the compound to begin their first task of the day, picking up litter from a public highway. Last night, 10-year-old Bryce found himself on the wrong side of Glen. Let's count them out, let's go. Don't want to camp, huh? I don't know what the recourse is for these kids, right? Like if you're in boot camp, I don't know what happens if you don't do something. Back in the old days, right? The DIs would take care of it and it would get done. With these kids, what can you do? There's a camera there. They're juveniles. You can yell and scream at them, but you can't put your hands on them. Seems like it could be problematic because this kid looks like he's going to be defiant and to give you the big middle finger. Just don't want to do it. Keep doing it his way. Push, son. Hey, son. Is this going to be like the tent episode last night? Huh? Quit doing it your way, son. It'll be a long day. Just like the tent episode, Mr. Wow. That's a portly fellow there. Hopefully he's not running. Up with me. But I'm no kids. Give them choices. Don't trap them in a corner. You don't trap a strong-willed person. They will fight you to the end. Yeah, here's your choice, you little shit. Do this or do this. That's it. I'm not sure about the choices thing. So if you tell your kid, he needs you to clean your room up. There's no other choice. Clean your room up. Period. I'm not going to say clean your room up or don't clean your room up. I don't know the context he's using, but I found... Give very specific instructions of what your expectation is, whether it's in the military to a young guy that's a green guy, to a child, it's no different. To an adult, be very specific. Don't leave any room to screw it up. Otherwise, somebody will. If you'll accept the coaching, stay around as long enough to, you'll see change. I promise you. They're shocked that I did this because. I used to give threats and never follow through, and I followed through. For her. You know, that's the best thing will happen to this kid. You know, take away mommy, because she's not doing him any favors. Just like the other program, look in the description about the 
young adults who went to the boot camp program in Miami. Now, what the outcome is, I don't know if it's the same outcome as far as recidivism goes, but some people come out better. It's worth the money. I can't imagine it costs more money than housing them and them doing nothing in prison. Is he now in Glenn's legal custody? I guess, yeah. All right, stop the waterworks. <laughs> waterworks. Oh, your mom signed a contract for 30 days. Doesn't mean you're going home in 30 days. I can pull that plug in a heartbeat, and I will. How'd you mean pull the plug? I can call mom and say he's not coming home. You know, that looks like the work that young E1s and E2s do around the base when there's nothing else for them to do. Or a kid does this in the summer to make a few extra bucks. Problem is, most of these kids have never done any manual labor at all. They've never used a rake. I remember I told my kid one time to sweep when she was young. It looked to me like I was talking to her in Greek. He earned it. He doesn't deserve it. You don't deserve him. What do you say to those people out there that say the only people that have the right to take away kids' freedom are the courts? And I'm not about punishment at all. You know, young people don't have a right. That's why they're under 18. They're not in the majority. They can't buy things. They can't enter into contracts. They've got certain rights like right to a roof over their head to eat. It's very limited because they don't know. We've determined as a society they can't make that decision. They're not good enough yet to make that decision. And by the way, if you're 19, just came back from Afghanistan, guess what? You're not good enough to buy Copenhagen or drink out in town. What do you think about that one? Mr. BBC. <laughs> what I'm about is helping kids understand that in every society, if there's no rules, there's chaos. And that's just about where we are today in the world. Reminds me of the Karen talking about, hey, I don't want any rules. If I don't want to wear the mask, there shouldn't be any rules. This is a dictatorship. You know, you're going to have to have some rules. That's part of a society. Back to these kids. They got to follow the rules. They know there's rules. They just go, eh, okay, and don't do it. Our kids are running the world, not parents. Moms and dads, I present your new kids. I'm proud of them. Now, what are you going to do with these kids? They get done, got a little bit of discipline, hopefully. They go back to the same parenting model. It's not going to work. Just like a kid that gets out of boot camp, gets into a shitty unit around a bunch of dirt bags. He goes back almost to a more sophisticated dirt bag than when he came in. Knows how to scam the system better. From here on in, parents are expected to attend weekly support meetings with Glenn. Do you think compulsory military service would be a good thing in the U.S.? And for you viewers who already have it, do you think you'd be better without it?